All right, everybody, we're back, and today we're going to show you the inner workings of the trigger, how that works, how it's put together, um, just the basic components. Okay. Well, first things first is right underneath here is that screw. You can use a little star wrench to get it out of there. Uh, I just like using my scrunch, a little flathead, two different patterns there. So go ahead and get that removed, and we'll start from... All right, we went ahead and removed it, and here it is. Uh, you can see the two different patterns. It's a uh, star and flat. All right, I'll put that down. Put it all, try to keep everything all together. Go, we just get in the habit of doing it. Get your cover off. Put it off the side. So the reason we're trying to get to is removing this, this other orange cover here. It sits over the top of the actual handle here and, and just makes it easier to take it off. Um, and then you're gonna be able to see the inner workings. Um, before, like always, 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 always have your throttle or your full choke. Okay, it closes it up in there and doesn't let anything in. This was pretty clean. I've had it clean just for demonstration purposes, but you can see that if it's open, it's going to let material in there. So clean all that out before you get in there. Um, here in a little bit, you're going to be able to see. You're going to have to open it and close it as you're putting it back together. So you want this clean. Okay. You have these two nuts right here. And I'm using a 5 16th to get it off there. There's another tool um, that they make. It's kind of like this scrunch, but instead of a star, it's actually specially designed for this nut to get it off there. Um, but if not, you have... 5 sixteenths get it off there be right back okay went ahead and removed the two nuts those two points put it off to the side I'm not going to lose it now you can go ahead and just wiggle this right off there as you can see those are the two holes that's where it sits in there you just kind of want to wiggle it out of there. And as you're going, you're cleaning, you're, you're keeping your area clean. Okay. Now as for this main part, same thing, just grab it from both sides. Kind of wiggle, wiggle it straight back so it comes off easy. There it is. Okay. Once again, before we put this back together, you want to get all that clean. All right, now you can see where the carburetor is at. Okay, in the carburetor, you can see uh, your high-low adjustments up top, your airflow and your fuel, and then you got your idle coming in here. Here, okay. And then what you see here, these two wires. Um, in an earlier video or a later video, I'll show you where. Um, where it comes in down here to the magneto and connects okay and the spark plug same thing comes down up into the magneto so that's where those two go so we've already removed that bottom that bottom screw right so now we're able to go ahead and work this off and it's going to be hooked right here see where it hooks underneath Pops right out of there, just kind of wiggle it nice and gently out of there. And you can see it, you can see the curvature of it. And it just hooks right underneath there. Put it aside. Now you can kind of see how the inside of this works. see there's a little spring right here that comes up and underneath this little lip that's what makes this pushes this back up okay that spring comes up and over the top to right here okay and that's right on right where your main uh, focal point for that that trigger is at all right 
right. So this metal, this little metal rod here, that's actually what connects into your carburetor, and that's what gives you your juice. Okay, gives you your, your fuel. It connects into there. So to remove that, we're not going to take any further than that. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, just want to pop it out of there. You can use needle nose pliers also to grab that and pull it up. I just like using this little hand tool. So underneath, right under where the idle, that's where it hooks in under. Okay. So you can kind of see how it's bent there. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Bring it straight back. You can see where it hooks. The end of that hooks right in there. Comes in. It just hooks right in there. Okay. When you go to put it back on, just line it over the top. Sometimes you have to push it forward in that direction to get it to line up. If you can't quite get it on there with your hand, just grab your scrunch. Right over the top, get the click back in there. Okay, and you're good to go. The only reason you really want to take it down in here is if you break something, maybe you need to replace this. Um, with that, this all just just pop. Oh, I got actually that makes it easier on yourself. Just grab that little spring, push it down, and this just pops right out of there. Okay. Here's that spring we're talking about. You see it? it? Just naturally, it wants to shoot back up, so so it pushes this back up, and it just connects right on the bottom of this thing, right there. That's where it hooks in. And then you can see these just clip in right there. If you have to replace your trigger, um, you know that's just—it's not uh, very complex to do. But we're not going to show that in this video. I just kind of wanted to show you how the inner workings of all this works. Okay, this is going to be where most of the pain is at um, to get it back, put that back together. So I always try to get it hooked up on there, so I get that little lip on that spring, bring it down. And then I push so these two points here click in and making sure that that little spring is underneath that little lip it's on there and you shouldn't have to do anything else and just hold it there okay one thing that you want to keep in mind here is when you go to put this back on you could struggle if it doesn't go on there Correctly. If you have it, if you have this up, and this is in the wrong position, I'll just show you. See, it, move, it shifts it further back. So when you go to put this on there, it's going to hit the top of this. Okay. So engage that full throttle all the way down, full choke. And that puts this in the right position where you can actually, it's not going to hit anything under here. So you'll be able to slide it. Be able to slide it in there. And it goes on nice and smooth, just like that. See that? And you want to make sure this makes contact with the white portion of it. So it's nice and sealed all the way down. Once it's all put back together like that. And you start reconstructing your uh, put your saw back together. Once again, make sure all this is uh, is clean when you put it back together. If you're doing maintenance on your saw, it's just a good habit to get into. Clean as you go. Line them back up.
two nuts back on there. Everything I start by hand, make sure they grab. I'm not forcing anything, it's all smooth. Before I bring my tools in, to, to get it back nice and tight. I'm not gonna take it all the way down, just to just pretend it's all nice and snug, good to go. Filter back on. Make sure that's nice and snug, touching on both sides, top and bottom, right and left. And that ensures that this lines up correctly. It's on. And then your last step: grab your screw. And this one you're gonna kind of have to work it in there. Since you can't quite grab it with your hand, um, you won't be able to start it. You know, like my little tool. But don't force it. Just feel it kind of grab. Make sure it's in the right position. There we go, it's grabbing. And go ahead and bring that down, snug it down. Right to the end where there's no resistance, and then just give it a little turn, and you're done. So that's the inner workings of the actual trigger, um, and then how it also connects into the, the carburetor. Uh, there'll be a follow-up video showing you how to remove the carburetor uh, more in depth, and then another video and showing you how to actually rebuild the carburetor, get it clean, and all that. So thanks for watching. I ask you guys to subscribe, leave me some comments, let me know what you want to see. I uh, appreciate you watching.